In this video trailer, we're gonna look at a quick and simple guide to candlesticks and bars. Stay tuned. Hey guys, well, welcome to your right. So if you're a beginner trader, you've probably seen all these talked about candlesticks, bars, you're like, what is going on? What are they showing me? I don't get it, I'm used to my line charts. Well, the good thing about these and why traders use these, and we'll talk about the differences and how it works in a moment, I'm gonna hit the screen and show some examples, is you're getting four pieces of information for the price of one, effectively. So when you see your traditional line charts that you might see in the paper or, or wherever it may be, they're basically normally plotting the close. So if you talk about a daily close, the closing price of 10, Tesla or uh, the stock market you're watching or IBM or Marks and Spencers or anything like that is a number and it's just plotted and then every day we get a new close the line is joined up and that's just a traditional line chart that's fine just glancing at stuff want to see how your longer term investments are doing on the FT fine but for a trader you want a bit more information that you want to know okay what's during that day how high did it go how low did it go where do we open? Where do we close? I want to know all that information. This is what traders want to know. So we have candlesticks and bars to allow us to do this. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about daily candlesticks and bars. There are ways that we can go into different time frames, but effectively, each candlestick or bar here, we'll talk about candlesticks for the moment, each candlestick represents a day's worth of trade. Now, time frames you can go and show a candlestick for an hour worth of trade or five minutes or one minute. We'll keep it simple for now. We'll maybe introduce that in a little bit moment and a little bit later. Okay, so one day, I wanna know in the trading day how high the instrument's gone and that's gonna be plotted by the very top of this candlestick here. Sometimes we call that the wick and sometimes we call that the tail. This is the high of the trading day. So imagine if during the trading day, you're looking at a stock and the stock went up to, uh, let's say it went up to 101, okay? And assume it's dollars, whatever it is. So that's the very highest price it went in the trading day. Didn't go a cent higher, 101. That would be the high if you're looking at a chart. And we'll, again, we'll look at the screen in a moment. But if you imagine there's 101, that would be the high of your candlestick here. So that's where exactly the high would be. And you know the, the body is going to be dependent on what? the open and closes. Now, when we have a green candlestick, the close is higher than the open. So this is where the price closed, okay? And again, that could be, let's say that was 100, okay, $100. So that's where it closed. In other words, where the exchange closed, if we're talking about um, the US markets, 4 p.m., bang, that's the last price. That will be the close of the trading day. And that's normally what people put on normal line charts. Okay, so what's the this bit here? Well, this bit is the open. Now, depending on what we're trading, we might say, okay, ding, off the bell goes, the, the ring off we go, we're gonna start trading, you know, the exchange is open. That might be 9.30 a.m., it could be 8 a.m., depending on where you are in the world. And that first price is the open. And let's say in this example, it's $95. Okay, so it's gone from $95 open, that was the close, but it actually hit a high of 101. So we're getting some information here. We're going, okay, well, you know, there's our 100 there, uh, there's our 95 here, if I can just draw that. And then let's say the lowest it went in the trading day was here, and this will be plotted, and this might be 90 bucks. Okay, so that's $90 here. So you can see the shape of our candlestick is gonna be exactly like we've got up there. And it's showing us the information of what's happened in the trading day. Hit the high of 101, hit a low of 90, open at 95, close at 100. Great, good information. Now, generally what we'll do is we would color that green on your charting platform to denote that the close is higher than the open. Just a quick gotcha, guys, be careful. It doesn't show, it's green is only relative to the open. It's not relative to the prior close. If the prior close happened to be I don't know, 120 for example, up here, but we gapped down because it was bad news overnight, it might, and the open was 95. It's a big gap, big $25 gap lower, but the fact that it closed at 100 would still color that green, even though it's technically down on the day. So just watch out for that one. Okay, now, if we, let's get rid of that. If we're coloring it red, basically what we're saying is that the close is lower than the open. So it's exactly the same thing. The high would be in the same point, and the low would be in the same point, the wick and the tail in the top side and the bottom side, how far that goes denotes the high and the low. However, if it's red, it's basically telling us that this is now the close. The close is lower than the open and it would be colored red on the platform. Now you can change that and adjust that obviously with all the settings on your charting platform. That's normally what would happen. Okay, the open is higher than the close or the close is lower than the open, it will color it red. So you can see, hey, Basically, we opened and we kind of trended lower during the trading day, and so we're gonna color that red so you can visually see what's happened. 
Right, um, let's have a look at bars. So bars are very, very similar. They're giving you the high, same kind of thing here. The highest of the bar is here. That's the high, and then there's the low. So that's all the same regardless. Now you've got these little notches on the side of the bar, and that indicates the open is here. So there's your open and there's your close. And that's the same for both bars. So obviously the open happens to be up here in this example, and the close happens to be there. So anything to the left-hand side of the bar is the open, anything to the right-hand side of the bar is the close. So again, we're getting four pieces of information. And sometimes the bars are colored, but generally speaking, most people use the same color bar. Um, the reason they use bars is because you can just purely fit more information on the screen. You can fit many more data on, you can see much more data than you can candlesticks. It's a personal preference. You get exactly the same information information it's just a personal preference some people like the thicker candlesticks but of course bars are a bit thinner so you can get more on now why we're we using this is we start to see kind of um, at a glance stuff that's happening over a period of days and we start to see different kind of patterns and I'm not going to go into uh, kind of too much advanced pattern, candlestick patterns in this video guys you want to check them out you know, feel free to have a look through some of the other videos that I've done and make sure you subscribe we talk about this kind of stuff all the time but you start to see patterns that are, uh, constantly occur in the market that might be a precursor for strength or weakness uh, just a few for example you know this these kind of patterns here they you know all they've got these, these got certain names i don't want to kind of go into too much uh, complication in this video keep it simple but we might kind of see this in certain positions in the market and go hey that's a pretty uh, strong indicator you know, if the price had been coming down for many days and then we had this we're like oh actually well it went to a low but during the day for whatever reason it pushed back up and we closed at highs don't forget we've got a high at close that happened to be at highs because we haven't got a little wick to the upside so that might be considered strength so this is why we have these four pieces of information and you wouldn't have that information if you just had the plot of the close so again we start to read in similar with this on the other side and kind of these are solid bars here which might indicate there's literally opened at the low and we closed at the high for this one we opened at the high and closed at the low we didn't even go any lower that was it so full extreme type day solid candle here denotes indecision we went higher lower closed pretty much where we open so we're getting little insights into what's happened again these will be very similar on a bar perspective so what i'm gonna do now is hit the screen let's look through some uh, kind of daily charts guys and just point out some of these candles how they work uh, and maybe if we spot some of these and show you kind of a little bit of a taster of how we might use these to make trading decisions let's hit the screens all right, so let's look at some examples of candlesticks and bars. And I've got Amazon in front of me here. Um, could be any chart, but let's just pick one well known. Everyone knows Amazon. It's a daily chart, so each candle is representing one day. Just like we looked on the whiteboard, each candle showing us the high of the day, low of the day, close of the day, and the open of the day. And it's set default setting, color green to indicate, hey, this is the close is higher than the open. If it's red, it's closed lower than the open. So let's just look at one specific candle. So this candle here, for example, and most of the time on your chart platform, by the way, guys, you hover your crosshair over it, it will put in the top um, the high and low, open, high, low, close. So open was 2757.99, as we can see. High was 28.95, low was 27.54, close was 28.78, and it's showing you the move on the day. Strong move, up 4% on the trading day. Okay, now the next day, and that's colored green, good strong candle. The next day, we have a slightly different candle. It's a smaller candle, smaller body. We call this bit the body, the um, kind of shaded bit. A uh, bit of a, a kind of wick to the upside, slightly a bit of a tail, maybe a bit of indecision there. And again, we can see the open there is 29.1201, high 29.5556, low 28.7110, and the close 28.9030. This is a higher price stock, so obviously lower price stocks are gonna be easier um, to kind of judge and look at, but you know, all the, all the heavy lifting's done for us. Um, and we can see the difference in candlesticks. You know, just like we were talking about candlesticks that have perhaps a, a big wick to the upside, we wouldn't get that information normally if we we're just having the close, big wick to the upside and a large body, oh, that might indicate uh, some kind of weakness. Big kind of strong candle that we looked at here, especially if we're kind of looking at it in terms of, hey, it's a bit of a breakout as well. Maybe we add volume to it. Maybe we add other bits and pieces. Closing near to highs could exhibit, or could be considered a strength, strength, strength. You know, then we get kind of candles like this where we get just a bit of indecision and it stays in a range for a few days. Using these candlesticks gives us a bit of a clue as to what might happen next. 
And if we flip to bars, guys, bars, I've got these colored actually because this just happens to be the default setting, but you know, I'm using trading view um, and we can kind of change this if we like. So we can go, uh, let's do up, same color as down. I think that's generally what I like to do when I'm looking at bars because you're looking at the pattern. So even though you have the same kind of information, you know, as we saw, uh, you know, good high, a good kind of strong move, closing at highs. The left side, don't forget the left side is the open. Let's look at this one. It's probably a bit more, a bit clearer. Let's zoom in on this one. Uh, let's kind of right at the high. That's our high point there. Uh, 330, uh, sorry, 334429. Uh, our open is, don't forget, the left hand side of the bar. That's uh, 3,251 and, and, and a bit of change. Close the right hand side of the bar and low here. So you can see we get the same type of information. We can fit a little bit more on. And some people like to have bars the same color because they like to just see the shape. They don't want to be uh, kind of influenced by the changing color or you know the, the kind of sea of red or the sea of green that you might get with candlesticks. Others do, personal preference. But again, it's that four pieces of information that you don't get when you're just losing, using a line chart. In fact, let's just put a line chart here. Look at the difference. All we're seeing is the close. Yeah, we can see it's an uptrend, but we can't quite see, you know, perhaps what's happened, you know, here. Did we have that little spike here? Does that indicate this a turn? It could do, and it kind of was a short-term consolidation. Uh, we wouldn't have had that information. All we see there, if we flick it to a line chart, is that the close was down here. We don't see any more than that, and so we're missing big pieces of the puzzle. So go and check them out, guys. You know, have a little look on your charts, have a little look at candlesticks, bars, compare it, and see if they work for you. And if you like this kind of stuff, you to get a thumbs up, it's much appreciated. And if you want to kind of get more involved with that advanced candlestick patterns and all that other good stuff, make sure you are subscribed and go and have a little look through all the uh, multiple videos that done previously to help you out with picking those turning points, picking those momentum ignition type opportunities, picking those mean reversion trades, using candlesticks or a selection of candlesticks as a bit of a signal to get in or out of the trade. Take care, keep your risk managed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.